if you took a 30-year-old from 1980 and a 30-year-old from now, and you compare the testosterone levels, the 30-year-old from 1980 had a much higher, on average, level of testosterone than they do now. So between the age of 30 and 80, you have to think more about what's going on with you. If you're, if you're feeling fatigued, if you're losing strength, if you're having sexual dysfunction, it's time to go to your doctor and talk about everything. And obviously, there's multiple factors that can cause this, but testosterone is, is a piece of that puzzle. So that level should be checked. So your family physician, your urologist, um, whoever you, a functional medicine physician, whoever you have nearby that can help you out, go and have this checked out. It's not to be ignored. People think, oh, I'm 30, how can I possibly have testosterone issues? It's just not true anymore. But when you get into your 40s and 50s, then your testosterone level does fall quite a bit. It can be 30% lower than it was when you were in your 20s and 30s. And that can make a big impact on some people. Some people don't feel, a lot of people do. So if you're now feeling fatigue, erectile dysfunction, uh, you're gaining weight, diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, you're losing your strength, you're having problems with, with uh, vocal clarity. Uh, all of these things are something to be looked into. I wouldn't just dismiss it to age. That's just not the, the way to do it anymore. There's more to it. And if you can fix that, you fix it. So I invite all men who are interested in seeing me uh, to come to the office. I'm located in northern New Jersey, which is close to Pennsylvania, close to Connecticut, close to New York State. Um, I can also see people that fly in to see me as well. So uh, I look forward to being able to do that for you.